Hello, hello, and welcome back to another size simply reviews. We're getting a little weird today. Why not? It's not weird, right? I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? We today we are simping over some Lan Jan, Lan Wang Ji. I can't remember all of his names. There's several. I'm just used to hearing it to, to Lan John, so that will probably be what I call him, even though the figure is Lang, Lan Wang Ji. I apologize if my pronunciation is terrible. I'm trying. <clears throat> Those semesters of Mandarin have served me nothing. Um, so this is my first... These, these boys are my first pop-up parades. I also have Wei Wu Xian. Um, let, let's get into it. On these guys, uh, same as all pop-up parades. They MSRP on Kren, on Good Smiles store for $32.99. However, shipping on these guys usually runs like somewhere between 13 and 15 dollars at least that's um what it did for me however i did not buy these guys from crunchyroll i actually got these guys from the usa gundam store i've actually gotten really lucky and gotten several things from usa gundam that were out of stock of other places so i'm very much a fan of usa gundam for that um, and their shipping, they do a flat rate shipping of nine ninety nine. So I got the pair and only paid the one ten dollar shipping car charge for them, which is great because shipping gets ridiculous. <clears throat> I'm I have seen most of the pop up parade lines. I've held them in my hands. Um, most of them were not characters thus far that I have simped over enough to buy them. These guys being the first case, obviously the later cases will be the Jujutsu Kaisen guys when those eventually come out. Um, anyway, so the, the standard for pop-up parades is that they come packaged in clear plastic, which is really great if you're the kind of person who does not like to take their stuff out of a box. I am not that person, clearly. So, uh, but it does give you a very, very, very nice display option without you ever having to remove it from its box. You know, there's nothing about the boxes for these guys that is very distracting. They're very, very simple, um, very Again, very good for just sitting on a shelf or something if you wanted to keep them in box. Obviously, the problem with that being because it is a clear plastic, you would get fingerprints and stuff, so you might have to wipe them down so often um, when you could touch them. Like, I can see the fingerprints on the corner of the box where I touched it. <clears throat> My brain is, is dead. It is it has gone out the window. Yeah, so these are from the Grand Master of Demonic Cultivation. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the Chinese name because I'm not going to butcher it butcher it. I am still getting through all of it. Um, I picked up the novels, so I'm reading the novels, or the first one. I'm, I'm part of the way through that, and I am almost all the way finished with the drama, The Untamed, um, which is partly how I got so involved in this. Whoops. Anyway, so yeah, here's our stern-faced, ever the stick in the mud in his funeral clothes, Lanjan. Let's 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 get him open and out of his plastic prison. Although I'm sure he'd probably prefer his plastic prison. It's cleaner and, you know, quiet in here.
Okay, so these guys are... That would be the disadvantage to displaying them in the box as they are covered in plastic, or at least he is. Obviously to keep, in his case, because he is wearing white, um, and he's got darker colored hair and stuff like that, uh, uh, very much to prevent paint scuffing onto the white. Here's his stand. It's a nice clear base. Uh, we're going to do a little trickery. The plastic on his head right here is that kind of plastic where it's kind of in the collar. It's tucked into the figure. Let me try and get it loose without breaking something. There we go. I don't want to pull it over his head and break it that way. There we go. So you go a certain way on here. Ooh, ooh. So this is interesting. Um, this is out of the box, straight out of the box. Um, there is, I can't, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a crack here, right here on the base. Let me see if I can zoom. I just hold it up where you can see it. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. It might be blurry, but you see that discoloration, that white discoloration right there? That is actually a crack in the base. This um, has never been opened prior to this, so that is a defect. Um, that is some, actually both of them seem both stand pieces seem to have that um, because I can see a little bit on the other one as well it's not actually fully cracked but I can see a line in it um, but this is definitely a very visible crack in the surface <clears throat> so that's there you go out of the box and uh, we, we've got a crack. Um, let's take a look here. There is a little bit of... There is some scuffing. Um, where, where it's right here on his leg. Right here. Okay, it rubbed off, so no big deal. Let's see about getting him... Okay, he is on his base. So, now that he is on his base, let's get him up here a little bit and let's bring, yeah, there we go. Let's get you in camera here. All right. Um, I mean, he's cute. Um, I would call you, it is one of the reasons why I've never bought any of the Papa Parade things was because I didn't, um, I, I didn't, like I said earlier, I hadn't found ones yet that I had really wanted. Um, two, I never really was attracted to them given their price point and how they look because I you know I can see them you can see them through the box um they're they're not terrible um but I don't put them a whole lot higher above kind of a standard prize figure really um good smile kind of does run this as their prize pretty much as as good smiles prize figure line their own individual prize figure line do not be tricked into thinking um that it's super high scale above that and that you're getting a whole lot of something for you know 30 is somewhere between 35 and probably 45 dollars given you know tax and shipping you know there's minimal 
th there's minimal shading here on the clothing, as you can see right here, kind of just in the folds um, of the figure. Most of the figure, though, is just, you know, solid colors. The same with the hair. The hair is nicely sculpted. There's a little bit of life in it. Uh, this is a nice, again, this is a nice touch. Uh, you would want to be careful here at the edges where it connects. Those are typically weak points for any kind of figure, really. But I mean, the hair, you know, it's solid. It doesn't go anywhere. <clears throat> All one color. Again, you can see a little bit of airbrushing here in the arm and the sleeve. However, m again, most of your uh, paint application here is very, very plain, very standard. And I'm, I'm actually kind of, okay, I'm just interested in how they, they colored his, um, his headband. It's actually very difficult to see the clouds on them because they're hidden underneath his hair. So let's kind of zoom in here and see what we can see. Let's get a, get a nice good zoom. Okay. Yeah, so now that he's a little bit closer up, you guys can really see right here again just very minimal airbrush in the color you know with the the feet and the legs there's really no difference in the color there there's nothing distinguishing about it the scrolls he is holding are quite plain as well um, we can bring those kind of in here. Again, very, very plain. And you can see the color. Uh, I believe you can kind of, yeah, you can see how the light catches the sculpt detail in the hair. Um, I would say that one of the nicer things is there seems to be minimal seams. Uh, the most noticeable one that I've seen so far is this one right here on the sleeve, which you can kind of catch. Um, let me see if I can get that a little. Yeah, you can see that ridge right where that light catches it is a seam. The paint application kind of overall looks pretty even. You don't have that same really noticeable seam line on this sleeve that you do on that one. The arms also don't really have a very visible seam, don't have a seam line, which is nice. Um, you know, that's usually one of the places where uh, figures fall victim to seam lines. The face is cute, very plain. He's very stern, uh, which is part of his character. Um, you know, the hair piece, his hair pin doesn't have anything really spectacular about it. There's just a, a you know, the tiniest touch of paint in between the lips. <laughs> so yeah, um, you know, overall he, he's pretty nice. Man, they really are prone to scuffs. Um, that white though okay so overall um he he's not a bad figure um i i would put him in the same range as a general prize figure um i, I wouldn't elevate him as being anything more than that um which again, I would imagine would follow suit with a lot of the Papa Parade. We'll see with their larger line, because they're doing the ones that are supposed to be like around, I think over a hundred or something like that. 
but they're the like XL size and I think their first one is like Titan Aaron so we'll see how that turns out yeah this is uh this has been let me will you zoom maybe or not zoom but correct yourself or whatever you want to do there you go correct your zoom so yeah anyway this has been my size simply reviews for Lan John. and uh, if you guys have any comments any questions any anything make sure to comment um, leave questions leave requests I guess maybe I can't guarantee requests though uh, I don't have that much money <laughs> uh, if you like it leave a like if you don't like it well oh well say la vie and uh, I will see you next time on the next size simply reviews. Bye bye.